TARDIS who are on display at the Jacksonville International Airport. We'll be right back. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hello and welcome back to the Airport News Show. On today's program we're talking about art. Art at the airport and art in general. And We're very privileged today to have some of the artists that are either currently in the airport or soon will be. So I want to once again introduce Ms. Kay Beth Cornelius, who is the program coordinator for the Jacksonville International Airport Arts Commission. Welcome back, Kay Beth. Thank you, Debbie. And next to her is Mr. Mark Estelund, who is a Jacksonville-based artist. Welcome, Mark. So Thank glad you. to have Thank you here. Thank you for having me. And then last but not least, Mr. <coughs> Steve Williams, who's also a Jacksonville-based artist. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for being here. We don't often get a chance to talk to the very talented artists that are either temporarily on display or on permanent display at the airport. So this is a real privilege and opportunity for us to find out what it means to you as the artist to have a venue like the airport to display your work. So just because you're sitting in the middle, Mark, I'm going to start with you because sure. I believe you are currently on display at the that's, airport. That's correct. Tell us about your display and how did you get to this point? Well, right now I'm on display um, in, in the Haskell Gallery with um, Mark Cregan and uh, with Madeline Peck. Okay. Um, Madeline Peck is in the kiosk and, I, and, um, and Mark and I, um, Mark Regan and I are in the Haskell Gallery, but it's really exciting to be in the gallery. I mean, it's, it's um, I, I think, you know, any artist would want to be in that space and um, it's fantastic to have so many eyes be able to walk through so freely and, and uh, see the work. Well, we have a couple of slides here, so if you could uh, just sort of walk us through what these mean and what these represent for okay. you as an artist. Like what type of artwork do you do, Mark? Right. Well, my work is, um, is assemblage, found objects, um, the, um, the, the blue piece that you're looking at there in the front uh, is an industrial uh, light um, with um, a series of lenses uh, and there's literally a three-dimensional blue uh, figure inside with lighting behind it. And it almost, he looks almost as if he's um, a hologram. And I do a lot of work with lighting and lenses to um, try to fool the eye, but I also am trying to create um, spaces in objects that bring people in. And the work is about, um, if you look beyond the exterior, if you look deeper into something, you see a lot of um, a lot of beauty, and like there's something else deeper. Okay, I think we have another example of your exhibit. And that's mother. Um, that's a piece I, I started long ago, but finished recently. And that's another example of um, of there's an exterior form that I've that I've built. It's an antique typewriter and a cash register that I've gutted and put together and installed lighting inside, and then you know, you look deeper to find, find some meaning inside. And it's, you know, up to the view. I have my own meanings, but I like to leave it up to the viewer to kind of come up with their own. Right. Yeah. So what is your inspiration? What um, brought you to exhibit in this kind of genre? Um, the, uh, the inspiration is, um, is just the human experience and um, that, you know, that I think that um, my experience is that I'm, I'm like problem solving as I'm making the pieces. They're, they're kind of like equations um, and I have all of these parts that they go together in some way and the, eventually they go, to, and go together in a way that's aesthetically pleasing, you know, to me at least. And fortunately, I'm finding people who are really enjoying them also. So how did you get to 
your being able to exhibit at the airport? What well, was that process like? Well, KBETH is uh, very uh, good at, um, at an outreach. And uh, if you get on her uh, email list, she, she will send you <laughs> anything and everything related to um, uh, getting involved with public art all over the country. And it's really exciting because, you know, um, it, there are so many things that I didn't know about, and she's really brought it to, um, to uh, the attention of many artists. I, I'm assuming I'm not the only one. I think that's good to hear because <laughs> I send the emails, and I don't know who's getting you what. You never know, and here's <laughs> evidence, proof that yeah. somebody's right. listening. I'm hoping to plant little seeds, and in the future, maybe we can have some... Uh, big name public artists living right here in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, um, and you never know. It's a great job. Maybe we've got two right here. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> well, since you mentioned two, Steve, I would like to, you, you have been on exhibit at the airport before, so tell us a little bit about the art you do. Um, I've been a painter for 20 years, uh, based here in Jacksonville. And I uh, do large abstract canvases and also sculpture. Um, I try to do obsessive, large um, works, uh, either you know made on one piece that are extra large, or grouped together with a lot of little pieces that make a large installation. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was important to exhibit at the airport just because of the the space was proper. I think it was a proper exhibition space, and um, and the the opportunity was great. Mm -hmm. So why this particular collection in the airport? Was there something that motivated you for this particular exhibit? Well, my work is a lot about faith and a lot about hoping that good things will come out of bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I picked pieces that I thought were significant to that message. Mm -hmm. And you say you've been an artist for about 20 years? Yes. And so, so what did it mean for you to have this opportunity to display in the airport well, as an artist? I think it was very uh, important, and I think it's imperative that this happens in Jacksonville. Um, you know, as, as the community has grown and changed over the past 10, 20 years, mm -hmm. this has been something consistent and uh, professional. You know, it's world class. I mean, if you go anywhere in any other cities, you're going to find something similar to this. Uh, and I think the outreach reach that Mark was talking about that KBeth Beth has put forward is imperative. Before KBeth showed up, it was you know, a proper space and wonderful, and, and she's really put some energy into this thing that mm -hmm. um, is going to, in my opinion, put it over the top. So I'm really excited to be a, involved in it. So I didn't get a chance to ask you, Mark, how long have you been an, an artist? Well, I guess um, it's been kind of a natural thing for me since I was very young, but, um, uh, and I started playing with, with concepts uh, about 10 years ago, but it isn't until the past, you know, two years that I really got serious about it after I had a child is whenever I decided that's mm -hmm. time to focus and push in that direction. So for both of you, uh, how have you seen art in public places, et cetera, grow or not grow, whatever what your opinion you like to is, see? in Jacksonville? I think there's a lot of places downtown that are crying for pieces, you know, just like um, I travel, you know, anywhere that I travel in the country, I'm seeing a lot more public art um, in their metropolitan areas. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I think that Jacksonville is realizing that we're a little lagging, you know, in that, in that area. And, and I think that some good decisions are being made um, as far as uh, trying to get a push in that direction, you know, although I think resources aren't there like they should be uh, right now, um, but I can see, like, that there's a mental shift, you know, in, in, like, the efforts that are being made. And I think that a lot of, there's a lot of grassroots efforts going on right now to make that happen. What about you, Steve? What's your perspective? I think um, as soon as a collection, a public art collection or whatever collection takes on a piece of art, they're committing to maintenance and costs uh, that's hard to understand at some level if you're just the viewer. But um, it would be nice if Jacksonville, and I know they have a small program to get uh, young or inexperienced artists into the public art arena, uh, but I'd like to see more of that happen. You know, I think it's hard even for a professional artist 
that's been working 20 years yeah. get into the public art um, you know field field mm -hmm. and if there were more programs or more uh, money to do that with I guess right so great. was was having the opportunity to display at the airport a, a real benefit or boon for you professionally absolutely you know I, I don't know how many people go through there there are what is fantastic about having art in an airport especially um, regional art in these rotating ex exhibition programs there are six million plus people that go through the airport every year mm -hmm. and we're saying to people this is who we are as a community and I think we have a lot to offer in Jacksonville that we don't often realize I mean certainly we have football we have the beaches we have the river but I think kind of um, our artistic community is something that's asleep we all know about it we're super excited about it um, I think the airport I think honestly I think that we're a leader mm -hmm. in the arts community in in large organizations Maybe that are saying to the whole city yes yeah. look who that's we right are right. we have so much to offer I mean, we had three artists here today that are all three phenomenal very different um, and the number of artists that we have in the Haskell Gallery every year I guess it's probably between um, 8 and 12 all talented all professional artists mm -hmm. not hobbyists which says a lot for this community it's amazing mm -hmm. what happens and we have everything from uh, fantastic realistic oil painters to um, abstract painting to assemblage work so it's a very it's a huge variety very diverse mm -hmm. I think if you take and a look at you never guess that in Jacksonville yeah, yeah no mm -hmm. it's a good good uh, oh, go ahead I'm sorry well, I think if you take a look at the community's history too for the past 30 years you'll see it kind of grow really fast and then kind of pare down a bit and then grow really fast and pare down I think recently we were named as one of the top 25 cities to visit for art in America mm -hmm. and right after that fell off but I think that's an example of of how good our communities happen hopefully the um, JIA and what's going on out there will be a good barometer for what's gonna come in the next few years and uh, it seems like it's growing slow it's consistent and that's what we want in Jacksonville well I because I work for the Jacksonville Aviation Authority I, I have to say that we're so proud to be able to be on the forefront and being the first and last impression that so many of these mm -hmm. people have and leading the way in promoting art in public places and it's been a wonderful trip and we look forward to more and maybe we'll see you again in the gallery in the future but <laughs> sure believe it uh, believe it or not our time is up so I want to thank once again K Beth for being here thank JIA you. Arts Commission Pro program <laughs> coordinator Mark Estelin, a local Jacksonville-based artist, and Steve Williams, also a Jacksonville-based artist. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your insight on the fantastic work you do. Thanks so much. Thanks for really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Did you make your If I get the family right, the whole world came together. I mean, I'm ready to eat.